What's going on, Solid Steppers? Miss Ward coming to you from sunny South Florida. Back in my home, my uh, stomping grounds. I am currently uh, headed to Lake Worth. I have to take care of Samsung product. And I just want to share with everyone a thought I had. I was thinking about how appliance repair is like an impulse zip, impulse by business, meaning the more prepared you are when you step into a customer's home, the more likely you are to make the sale and lock in the job and get it done. You know, the whole goal is one stop, you know? Get to the customer's house, have the parts available, give them a fair and accurate price, diagnose properly, and do the repair. But, you know, I see a lot of people fumbling because they don't do the homework. They don't do, like prime example, I always reach out to my clients, secure the model number, and I prefer to have it text to me via photo, you know, simply because I want to make sure that I'm getting the accurate information, you know, along with the serial number and all that good stuff. You know, prime example, you know, for those of us that use Smart HQ, it comes in really hand handy to have the serial number. For those of us that are concerned about the age of the appliance and uh, the manufacturing specs, all those things come in handy. So in order to stay on top of that, you really need to be on top of your game. You have to know the appliances. You have to know what series had issues when, who had recalls. If you're doing your real homework, you're good. But you know, a lot of people go into stuff like unprepared on a whole nother level. They have, like prime example, um, I also have a GE French door. Spoke with the customer. She sent me the model number, picture the model number, serial number, all that good stuff. I got my new fee available so that when I walk in, I don't even have to open the door, plug and play, and go from there. Now, I spoke with the customer. She said there was some frost building up in the trays and that it wasn't cooling in the, top, the fresh food section. So to go in, I'm going to make sure, of course, I have the fan the, th the de defrost thermostat and the uh, the mice, but I'm also gonna have the glass heater because on some of those models, they've had issues with those. That's what I mean about being prepared. You know, in my brain, I've already walked through the process of thawing out the unit, you know, in and out, boom, 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 boom. You know, it's not that hard, but the key is time you think you know it all is when you have a problem and you haven't prepared. So I've spoken to the customer. I understand the customer's uh, pain point. I understand the uh, customer's budget. So I'm prepared to walk in and present myself accordingly and make the sale. That's the difference between Miss Ward and so many other people. You know, these guys talk about it, but you never really see the real grind and what it takes to consistently hit home runs, consistently uh, have profit, and consistently be prepared. Now, there are parts of that. You know, with my local services, I'm blessed to be in an area where we have, you know, multiple Marcones. Shout out to Saul. You know, and the thing, my relationship with Marcone is so great to the point you know, I have multiple areas that I work out of from Savannah to Valdosta, Georgia, Panama City, Miramar Beach, Santa Rosa, Cape Coral, Fort Myers, Lando Lakes, you know, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Boca, Palm Beach, Jupiter, Port St. Lucie, and I'm, I have access because I have an account with them. Saul is forever keeping me up on the latest information. You know, I really hope you guys go and look at the TMM video with Saul. That is so good. The one where Brandon, Brandon Brother B is talking to him about everything that MSA offers. And guys, in order to run your business, you have to have strong business partners. Your suppliers, vendors, they all have to be able to step up and service you at the level you need in order to execute and present a professional image. These things are so important.